Hey, what is up guys and welcome back to Wade State, the Fighting Clams Dynasty coming off a win over App State and now we get ready to take on the FCS Southeast Pandas and yeah, there's not much to do but just to hop into this one and here we go, take it on the Pandas at home, there's 70 overall, that's actually not bad as here we go ah, good stuff Zoa Energy, the drink that The Rock makes, delicious. And here we go. We'll start first, in, or we'll get the ball to start here. And the electric freshman Terrence LaFell on the return, cuts it up. Oh, ran into his blocker. We'll start first and 10 on the 21. And we'll see George Eberly and Robbie Kilpatrick, who had a touchdown catch a week ago. And here we go. As we'll start in the gun, first and 10. Eberly will motion out and look into throw. Pressure got home. Second and ten. All right. And snap out quickly to John O'Keen, who spins, makes a guy miss. John O'Keen down the sideline. And he's going to be gone. Touchdown, John O'Keen. House call on the RPO. Great block by Kilpatrick out there. And that's an easy touchdown pass. 79-yarder to John O'Keen. Extra points good. 7-0 Wademan State. Let's go. And we'll kick it back to Southeast now. And here we go. They're going to return it. Tackle made at the 13. That's where they'll start. First to 10. They have Blue Redman and TJ Ritchie. We have Cleveland and Wipler, obviously. And here we go. Pistol to start. And they're going to read option to start. Great play. Shaden Hearns and Larry Gunn all over it. Second and 13. And running right. Nice. Tackle made, third and 11. And there we go. Third and 11. Snap. It's a screen. Incomplete. And an injury for FCS Southeast. They got a punt. And they are going to punt it away. LaFell back to return. He's going to return it. Bringing it to the right. Tackled at the 50. We'll start there first and 10. There we go. As we'll start this drive with a run to Coleman. And he'll get four. Second and six here. There you go. And Eberly drops the throw. We got to get him on the move. Wide open. Down the field is Robbie Kilpatrick. Holds it in. Touchdown, Robbie Kilpatrick. Let's go. Runs through the cart because he's a legend. And the extra point is going to be good by Nick Hector. 14-0. Nice throw there. Finding Kilpatrick down the field. And here we go. We'll kick it back to the Pandas. And they will return it. Tackle made by Ralph Pitts. And I don't know who the other guy was, but... First to 10 on the 16. And they're going to keep it with the quarterback up the middle. Cleveland, nice tackle. Second and five. Devon Wingate Wilson is their quarterback. All right. Here we go. Running left. Gun makes the tackle. Gets help from Jason Souls. Third and two. And looking to throw. Rolling right, and he's going to go down. Jaleel Cross and Wingate Wilson's injured. Which stops the clock. Jaleel Cross, he's had a good start to the year. He's had a sack in every game, I believe. 
And here's the punt. LaFell back. And he's going to return it to the right. Terrence LaFell. He's so electric. Out at the 41. First and 10, Wademan State. And no safety deep is interesting. I will still run it, but... Snap. Coleman with it. Downhill gets four. Second and six. And again, downhill. Coleman not touched until he's to the second level. First down. That's, I mean, that's just too easy. He's not touched until he gets to the second level. Snap quickly out. John O'Keen on the catch. Kilpatrick, great block. John O'Keen in. Touchdown. Wademan State. John O'Keen punching it in. That's easy. Three three completions, three touchdown passes. Two to O'Keen, one to Kilpatrick. Easy day for George Eberly so far as we'll kick it to the Pandas. And here's the kick. They're going to return it. And Gunn makes the tackle. First and ten. On the six, on the 15, rather, for the Pandas. And a split backfield to start. Rolling left, throwing left. Tackled by Gunn and McLeon. But second and seven. And run up the middle. Whoa. And knocked out of bounds. First down there. That hole is wide open. And another run. Right side. Ball's out. Peanut punched and we fall on it. Let's go. We got the peanut punch. And first and ten on the 34 now. Here we go. Eberly looks to throw. Going right sideline incomplete. Couldn't ruin the uh, every completion's a touchdown record there, so had to throw an incompletion. I respect it. As he's going to play fake it to Coleman. Across the middle, it's Cornell. Florence who has the catch. Up and over and out at the three. First and goal. Let's go. First and goal. And Eberly is going to take it, plowing ahead to the two. Second and goal. There we go. Snap. Coleman, middle, big back, just powers his way in. Touchdown, Tim Coleman, the true freshman. In for the score. Let's go. The extra point by Nick Hector is good. 28 nothing. Two seconds left in the first quarter here. And we are just firing on all cylinders this week. As we should be. We're playing a Division II school. But still, you got to do the job. So they're going to return this. Big hit. That'll end the first quarter. We lead 28 nothing. Here we go. Just got to keep going. First and 10, UGF. Here we go. They're going to run it to the right. That's a great play by McLeon. Second and ten. There we go. Second and ten. And looking to throw. Out right. Gun with a big hit. Third and eight. Third and eight here. And looking to throw. And rolling. He's sacked. It's Florida getting home. Fourth and 19 on the two now. Let's go. I mean, he's basically punting from. And just gets it out. LaFell back to return. Standing right at the 50. And that's a nice block. LaFell to the right. LaFell sideline takes it out at the 20. And that's where we'll start first and 10. Snap, play fake. Eberly rolling out, out to Brandenburg. He'll get four. Second and six. There we go. 
And looking to throw down the field for the fell incomplete. Third and six. Then. Uh, Carruthers is the back. We're going to swing it out to him. Nice block. Ah. We're going to go for this. Fourth and four. Eberly under center. Looking to throw. Hit as he throws. That's a great throw. While getting hit, finding Kilpatrick. First and ten here. Or first and goal, rather. I'm going to slant LaFell. And looking to throw middle open Terrence LaFell. I think it's first career touchdown. I believe. The true freshman. I can't remember. I think so. Extra point is good. 35 nothing. I think that's his first career touchdown catch. I can't remember that. Yeah, it is. Here's the kick. I was trying to get him one, if you couldn't tell. We targeted him on some wild throws on slot fades, but we got him one. And here we go. First and 10 on the 16 for UGF. And keeper for the quarterback. Huge hit, second and three. I guess we're going 4-4 four, four here. All right. And they're going to run it up the middle. Ball's out again, and we got it. Let's go. I didn't see you force a fumble, but Souls falls on it. First and 10 on the 24. Everly's going to send Okeen in motion and drop to throw. Out left John Okeen out of his reach. Ah. Uh, right. Second and ten. Looking to throw. Blitz coming. Outright Tim Coleman on the grab. And he'll get six. Third and four. And looking to throw. Underneath LaFell again. Why not get him a second one? Terrence LaFell. Touchdown. Let's go. And the extra point is good. 42 nothing. LaFell, his second touchdown catch of the year now. And we'll kick it away back to southeast. And this will be a touchback. We'll start first and 10 on the 25. Here we go. And they're going to keep it with the quarterback. Halasi can't wrap up. We eventually make the tackle. And that'll be the two-minute warning. 42 nothing, Wademan State. <laughs> and here we go. Looks to throw. Outright picked off. Right to Richard Halasi. Make a miss. Ah. We'll start first and 10 on the 36. First and 10, Wademan State. And looking to throw underneath. It's LaFell again. First down to the 23. Um, let's do this. And looks to throw right back to LaFell. I mean, they just cannot stop him. First and goal at the 9. There we go. Looking to throw. He's going to step up and run. Everly's in. Rushing touchdown. Waitman State. Georgia Everly runs this one in. And the extra point is good. I mean, we won't have any starters on the field come the second half, but get as much as you can in the first half. We're going to have some fun in the second half. Here's the kick. They are going to take a knee and start on the 25, first and 10. Um, let's do this instead. And looking to throw out underneath. Yeah, huge hit, second and four. Here 
There we go. Looking to throw down the seam, wide open. Big hit, timeout. And looking to throw wide open across the middle. First down. All right. And looking to throw down the seam. Touchdown, UGF. Man. That is just right down the middle. Extra point is good, 49 to 7. That was a good drive. Here's the kick. And we're going to bring it from the two. The fell out to the 27. That's where we'll start first and 10. All right. Looking to throw underneath. Just put it on him. There you go. LaFell with it. Oh. And an injury stops the clock. Um. Here we go. First and ten. Looking to throw out left for Carruthers who makes the catch. Out of bounds. First down. All right. First and ten here. And looking to throw. Across the middle. Cornell Florence on the grab. And he's out at the 11. First and ten. Uh, all right. First and ten. And looking to throw. Stepping up. Eberly is going to run. Nobody's there. Touchdown, George Eberly. Too easy today for this Wademan State offense. And he does the Heisman pose. Extra point is good. 56 to 7. And here we go. As we'll kick it away back to UGF. I mean, they scored last drive, so. Oh, tackle made at the 13. First and 10 UGF right there. And looking to throw out the screen. Nice play, but you didn't make the tackle. Second and six. And they're probably just going to take this one to half. And it's going to be a run. Larry Gunn can't wrap up. Cleveland and Schuster do. That's halftime. 56 to 7. We dominated. I mean, absolutely dominated. The fell 5 for 68 and two scores in the first half. Not bad. And we'll kick to start. And then we'll pull the starters out. Let's see here we go. Hector boots it away. And they're going to bring this out. Tackled by Gunn and McLeon and Ralph Pitts. And we'll pull the starters out. And here we go. Or not. One of these days, it'll work. First and ten here. And they're going to keep it with the quarterback running left, tackled, get two yard gain, second and eight. There we go. Now the backups are in. Actually, I got to make sure we actually have. So, Anini. Yeah, that's fine. Running back. We're going to let Standiford. He's redshirted, but and you can get some minutes here. KJ Edmond. Actually, Wyshynowski. I don't need to see any more from Carruthers. That's all good. Tight end, Brandenburg and Levis. Okay. Defensively, good. Linebacker, Wojcicki and Gillette. And, yeah, that's fine. Um, safety, Kane James does not need to be in. Let's get Veal out there. 
and Chisholm. Let's see those two. We'll let Manu Choi kick. Punter, sure. Kick returner, sure. Corner's good right now. We'll have Ulrich, Dingle, and Christopher Gore and Brink out there. We'll let all the red shirts kind of get some reps. Um, third down running back will be Standiford. Actually, it'll be Wisnowski. Power back will be Wisnowski. Who's slot corner can be Ulrich. Sub linebacker will be Gillette. And Wokiji will actually be the first one. D-tackle, sure. No, that's going to be... Um, let's let Ricky Strange in there. And then... Not Wokiji. We'll have Trevor Payne do that as the backup. Rush left end will be... Heath Rhodes, Rush D tackle will be Keenan Douglas. All right, who do I have? Standiford. Okay. All right, and here we go. Second and eight, and they're gonna run it to the right. Nice play. Third and eight, and here we go. Richard Chisholm on the play, and third and eight. Looking to throw. He's going to load up and take a shot. And it's picked off. Let's go. Going the other way. It's DeChristopher returning it. And Scott DeChristopher picks it off. And we'll start on the 43. First and 10. Let's go. There's Tarquin Anini in at quarterback. Standiford, the running back. He's a transfer. We're going to get him the ball here on the first play. He's going to get seven, second and three. All right. In the, in the gun here, Anini will look to throw right. Brandenburg, the five-star freshman, first down. There we go. As Dalton Levis, another young tight end on this team, is in motion. We're going to hand it to... Is that Wisnowski? Looks like it. Gain of six. Yes, Trent Wisnowski, sophomore from Alabama. Three tight ends up. And a play fake. Rolling out. He's just going to throw it to Dalton Levis, who has it. And he's going to go out first and go on the three. There we go. Empty set, Anini in the gun. Takes the snap, cutting it left and losing some yards. Injury timeout here. Here we go. Second goal on the five. Play fake to Standiford. Rolling out. He's going to throw it to Standiford. Touchdown! Standiford, the transfer running back, in for the score. James Standiford. Anini throws it to him. Extra point is good by Manu Choi, the freshman kicker. And we'll boot it back. So here we go. Here's the kick. And they will return it. Oh. Oh, no. Run him down. Run him down. Touchdown, UGF. My house a kick return. Unbelievable. Ugh. Wow. And the extra point's good. 63-14. Wow. Here's the kick. And the Christopher's going to return it from the three. Uh-oh. And we might have an answer. De Christopher sideline house call. Scott De Christopher answers. Let's go. What a return! We just traded kick returns. Manu Choi's extra point is good. Seventy fourteen. And here we go. This will boot it back to UGF here. And they're going to take a knee this time. 
Here we go. First and ten on the twenty-five. And run up the middle, gain of four. Second six. And play fake. Rolling right and brought down third and three. All right, third and three. Looks to throw out right. Chisholm, great tackle. Fourth and three now. And they got a punt. James O'Doyle back to return. The two freshman cornerback. And he's going to return it and just go out of bounds. We'll start first and 10 on the 28 here. And Standiford will be the running back in the eye. We'll hand it to him, running right. Nice block, downhill. Brandenburg out in front. Oh, Standiford was still going. First down run. All right. Here we go. First and 10. Play fake to Standiford. Right side open is Mundy. First down. Nice throw and catch there. First and ten. Anini in the gun of Standiford. Takes the snap. Keeper for Anini running left. He's got decent wheels. Second and eight. Let's do this. Looking to throw. in middle Brandenburg. Oh! Jeez. First down. Wow. And... Anini handing up the middle. Standiford, that'll be the last play of the third quarter. We lead 70-14 to 14 over Southeast. All right. Here we go. Second and six. And Dalton Levis in motion. Play fake to Standiford. Anini on the move. There's nothing open. Third and eight. Uh, all right. Third and eight. Anini in the gun. Looking to throw middle open. Mundy first down. First and goal on the nine. Here we go. Ralph Pitts on motion. Snap. Right for Brandenburg. A flag's down. Trying to get Brandenburg a touchdown. <laughs> Offense? Wow. Okay. First and goal on the 19 now. Interesting. And snap. Run up the middle. Stand third. Second goal on the 15. Play fake here. Out left and dropped by blasting game. Third and goal. All right. Third and goal. Brandenburg in motion. Play fake. Get that block. Nice block. And Nini out at the four. Uh, I mean, we might as well just go for it. Fourth and goal here. Anini in the gun. Pits a motion in. And looking to throw out right for Brandenburg. Touchdown! Sam Brandenburg in for the score. The true freshman five-star tight end. Extra point by Choi is good. 77-14. to 14. Let's uh, not kick it to the left again, because that got house called last time. Here's the kick. And they're going to bring it out. Oh, nice tackle. Here we go. First and 10 on the 17 here.
And looking to throw. Oh, caught first down. All right. And looking to throw. Underneath, I saw it too. The ball's out. Scooped up. And that's going to be a house call for Tyler Ulrich. <laughs> Touchdown. Scoop and score. John Rokiji pokes it out. And choice extra points good. 84-14. Let's go. Fifth takeaway of the day for the defense. And here's the kick. They're going to take a knee and start on the 25 first and 10. Looking to throw. Rolling left. Throwing left. Incomplete. Second and 10. No one there. And looking to throw. Out to the left flat. Hit him in the head. Third and 10. And looking to throw. Down the seam. That's caught. Wow. Gillette was there. Just didn't make the play on the ball. First and ten. Looking to throw. And sacked. Let's go. That's a big boy. Keenan Douglas, the senior D tackle in on the sack. Looking to throw. Rolling. He's going to go down again. Third and 29. It's Ricky Strange. There we go. Looking to throw. It's a screen. And he catches it off his head. Fourth and 25. And two minute warning. They got a punt though. And here's the punt. We're just going to fair catch this. And actually, we're going to see Jeff Galladay. I don't know if he'll ever actually play here, but we're going to get him out there. And here we go. Number 12, Jeff Galladay. Redshirt sophomore, I believe. And he's just going to hand a stand up for it. He's going to cut it to the left and take a huge hit. Second seven. We'll let Galladay throw one. And play fake. Outright to Brandenburg, third and inches. All right. Third and inches. Snap, run, stand a third. First down to the 41. There we go. Play fake to stand a third. And throws it to the fullback, Matthew Hurt. Second three. Nice catch. There we go. On the counter. Ah, stand a third. Third and four. All right. Snap. Stand a third. Fourth and five. Probably going to go for it. I called the wrong play, but whatever. Fourth and five. Looking to throw. Calladay on the move. He is brutally slow, but he's got a first down. There we go. Well, Pitt's in motion. It's not going to him, though. It's going to Standiford. He'll get three. Second and seven. Let's do this. Yeah. Snap, play fake. Oh, 
No. No. Out at the 44, they're going to try. Ah, man. Snap, looking to throw. Heave into the end zone. And incomplete. We win. 84-14 win over FCS Southeast. Dominant. I mean, Everly 15 to 19, 308, five scores. Anini 7 of 8 for 80 and two scores, and then Galladay had a pick. <laughs> Rushing wise, Standiford 9 for 43. Coleman 4 for 26 and a tutter. Anini 4 for 9. Eberly at 3 for 21 and two scores. Galladay had a carry for 7, and Wishnowski had 1 for 6. LaFell 5 for 68 and two scores. Brandenburg 5 for 36 and a score. Okeen had 2 for 99 and two scores. Kilpatrick. 2 for 51 on the score. I mean, so many guys. Cornell Florence, 2 for 65. Standiford had a touchdown catch. Coleman had a catch for 6. Carruthers, 2 for 15. Defensively, 11 tackles for Larry Gunn. A sack for Strange, Douglas, Cross, and for Warda. And I want to see interceptions. Not that. Pick for DeChristopher and Richard Halasi today. And we just, yeah, run them out of the building. Which is what you should do against the Division II school, more than likely. So, yeah, we're going to move on next week. <laughs> we got one more non-conference game. Then we get into Big Ten play for the first time. And, yeah, uh, we play Houston at home. Still number two in the nation, just holding that rank. But, yeah. I mean, looking at recruiting, I don't think much has changed. No, I mean, we just need some guys to get closer and commit here. This guy... Okay, we're way up on Sharif Rashid here. Rashid, not Rashid. Um, we're just going to DM him for this week. We need to get Rylan Childress, as long as I think he's a guy that... Um, you know, he just might be a guy we don't get. I mean, we got to get, let's start getting at least one visit a week in here. Jensen can't visit yet. McAllister can. He's an athlete, 92 speed, 86 tackle. Lanier, I mean, he looks really good. We're going to get him out on a visit week six against Illinois. We'll do conference prestige. All right. Well, yeah, that's going to wrap up this episode, guys. I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, it's been the captain. And peace.